Welcome to the historic Meredith House. I'm Julie Gilberto Brady, manager of the Heart of Chesapeake Country Heritage Area. I'm here today with Mitch Anderson, who is the administrator of the Dorchester County Historical Society. Mitch, this is a great house. Could you tell well, us a little bit about it? Sure. Um, the Meredith House was built around in the circuit of 19, 1760, sorry. <laughs> and um, it was donated to us, uh, to the society in 1959. Uh, the society itself started in 1953 by a group of families who came together and wanted to preserve the rich hi history of Dorchester County. So when this was donated, this became the society, the building, all the artifacts, everything that was given, donated from our local Dorchester folks, all came here. And this is a wonderful great room. You seem to have a lot of exhibits here, a lot of portraits. And I see over here that you have an exhibit that seems to be dedicated to Dr. Alexander Hamilton Bailey. Could you tell us a little bit? Oh, Dr. Bailey was very prominent in his day. Um, the fascinating thing that stands out to me with him is one that he had a son who fought on the southern side. And of course, he was the northern. When his son was injured, and he had to somehow get across the lines to go pick up, get his son, and bring him back to Dorchester County where he could be nurtured back to health. That story in itself just sort of sums up what kind of man Dr. Bailey actually was. Are there any interesting features about this house that you'd like to share? Oh, everything. <laughs> but I'd have to say, one is known as the house of um, corner chimneys. Chimneys. Yes, and during that period of time when this house was built, it was rather unusual to have corner chimneys uh, instead of them being flat up against the wall. You mean like the chimneys over here? Yes, yes, over here. Mm -hmm. And we had three corner chimneys in this house here. Then we have this one that is over there. And um, it actually, when you think about it, wouldn't it do a better job of uh, providing better heating? coming from a corner and flat up against the wall. That's a good point. So we'll see. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> well, I noticed in this other corner chimney, there's a very interesting portrait hanging over it. If that's you could tell us a little bit about sure. that. Sure. That's uh, Captain Lacombe. He is a grand, uh, grandson of one of our very, very first settlers here in Dorchester County. And honestly, over there, that was his wife as well. I'm oh, no kidding. Well, I see this room. The walls are, seem to be ringed with photographs, oh, portraits, portraits. <laughs> right. Are all of these people who once lived here? No, they didn't. Oh. Um, I would like to think that they did, but no, the fact is, is that once I had mentioned that this was the, um, the society, the museum of the day, um, all these were came from Dorchester County, but they were just here to be on display for everybody to come visit, learn, share. But that's long before we got the other buildings on the property. <laughs> so, are any of them? Do any of them have interesting stories? <laughs> well, it's not a this Dorchester one. County story. I like this it. lady. This lady actually was in Talbot County, and what I think is fascinating about her, the, the artists would actually go traveling around, and they would already have most of the painting done, the bodies all painted in and everything. And folks could just have their faces painted onto the bodies. Sort of the Photoshop of the day. <laughs> and I think uh, she certainly saw herself in a different light. <laughs> well, this is a fascinating room. This is a fascinating house. And I think we'll be um, looking around and doing some more visiting and exploring today. I certainly hope so. It sounds like fun. Thank you. Thank you.